Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm a house plant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. In today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you the reasons why I'm closing down only plant store. Since the start of the business, I have received many positive messages and well wishes from you guys. And I know that you guys are rooting for me to succeed in the only plant store business. But there are a few challenges and I have actually decided with my business partner to just close it down. The decision was unanimous. We didn't even have to go through the reasons. We didn't have to look at the numbers. But let me walk through with you the reasonings and hopefully you can learn something out of this as much as I did. So Only Plant Store started about 18 months ago. And we rented a house here and it's a small house, kind of not in the middle, but in the outskirt of the city in a neighborhood. So we have very, very limited space here and it actually rains every day and we didn't think about investing, um, what do you call it, a, a, a canopy to shield our plants from the range. If you watch my only plant store videos, actually, I show you that I grow the plants on racks and they're not getting the ideal sunlight. They're getting rained on every day. So it has been challenging to grow plants in this condition. And I've actually learned a lot from it. And hopefully you guys have as well. But moving forward, if you know, in my own collection or whatever, I will have a canopy to shield the rain away from the plants because that is the number one cause of plant death and also plant decline for me. So that is a precious lesson. So that is number one reason we have weren't efficiently growing plants. So that's one of the reasons we're closing it down. And the next reason is that it is quite costly for us to grow plants here. We're not in the mountains, we're not in the rural area. So the ranch here is quite expensive and we do have staff here uh, that is caring for a limited number of plants. So the economic of scale doesn't make any sense in this sense. And the third reason is that the market is actually crashing now. There are way too many sellers, there's way too many supply and demand is decreasing sharply. With the end of COVID, everybody is now traveling, everybody's spending their money on fashion, beauty. So people are buying less and less plants and I did notice that there's a sharp decrease in price, but despite the decrease in price, people are not buying at this time. So the market needs a lot of restructuring. It is not a good time for me to be here in this market now. I'm also doing a lot of travel vlogging at the same time, which means that I have less time to care for my plants. And in this travel vlog, I actually love to uh, share the grower stories and I like to build up other people's businesses. And for me to propagate my own plants and to compete with them in the retail market now, it doesn't make any sense because I really do want this market to sustain. And this is a message for a lot of you guys out there too, who are probably just starting out as sellers, who are not so serious, who probably have other businesses to run. Step down because yeah, I'm stepping down. So uh, for in order for all of us to succeed, you know, there are a lot of people who spend many years to build up their plant businesses. And there are a lot of people who have spent a lot of money in the recent years uh, over COVID who's, who, who really do need this business to survive and to thrive. Uh, we need to give them space, we need to give them the opportunity because if all of us decided we wanted to propagate, we wanted to sell, we want to export, we want to do... Like everybody wanted to do everything, that's not going to work out well. And um, another message for the growers here, especially in Indonesia, is that you guys need to learn to work with sellers. You need to have a structured wholesale price, reseller's price, and you need to know what your fixed retail price is. That is the future of the plant market here in Indonesia. The old way doesn't work anymore because currently all the farmers, all the growers are trying to export. They're trying to um, sell plants at the highest price possible. So let's say you're from Singapore, from the US or from the Europe, if you DM them, you, you, you contact these nurseries, they will quote you different prices depending on where you are because they're trying to squeeze as much money as they can from you depending on where you are. That business model does not work anymore. So I'll be pushing a lot. I'll be trying to build the industry. I have a lot of really good projects coming up. So do not be sad with the closing down of Only Plant Store because I have some really, really interesting big projects that will actually enable a lot of these growers to succeed because that is my passion, is to build the community and build the industry and watch it grow from ground up. I've also just returned from Bangkok in Thailand where I've learned a lot about the horticultural practices there and their history. And hopefully I can encourage some uh, shift here in in the paradigm. For example, in Indonesia, actually a lot of people collected plants over the pandemic for the reasons of hype and also the reason that they wanted to earn money out of it. It's actually very difficult to find people here who love the plants for who they are. There, there are very few people here who love specific genus of plants. Like there's not that many orchid lovers, begonia lovers, uh, or some aeroid lovers. It's just people just rushed onto Instagram to find the plants that are going to make them the most money or make them look more popular online and things like that is a wrong approach. 
And that is not a sustainable way to keep the plant market going. So I have a lot of work ahead of me in terms of education, which I love. I enjoy educating and enjoy caring for plants and then sharing with them here on YouTube. And closing down the only plants business will enable me more time to spend on this um, education aspect. So I'm actually very, very happy and it's a big, big relief for me to close this down. But my, again, my work is, is just starting up because I do need to encourage the local people here, whether it's the growers, you know, let's say you're a carnivorous plant expert, you need to do marketing. You need to find your market. You need to get people excited and passionate about the genus. That's how you keep the plant market going. The people here basically during the pandemic, everybody rushed to the aeroids literally everyone so orchid people they let go of their orchids and they just went into you know anthuriums so that is not the right way to do it because that means the price is going to go up really fast during the rush and then it's going to crash really hard when everyone has oversupply and then now all those genuses like the begonias you have your indonesian endemic plants no one's really caring for them now and those are the plants that are probably going to rise up in popularity next so I implore for everyone, find a niche in your market, figure out what you like and passion, are passionate about. Do not follow the trend, do not follow the hype, because I believe that everybody is suitable for certain specific genus of plants that they adore. And secretly for me, it's actually Dishkidias. I have a deep love for them from the start. But anyways, I will be getting rid of a lot of plants, just so you know. In the last few weeks or so, I've been just piling up pots of plants and they're not doing well they're either dead or going to die soon because i was away for 20 days in thailand and also because i have now over 3,000 pots of plants in my care let me quickly <laughs> this is becoming a long video and uh, i know i'm speaking a little fast but there's a lot of points i'm trying to make so bear with me for example i have maybe around 3,000 pots of plants now and just i'm just gonna name a few genuses like for example one is the apishkia I have five colorways of them, and I have probably eight pots in each colorway. So that is a lot of plants, and not all of them are doing well, just so you know, because there's just so many, so many species here, and there's so many, some of them were even hiding behind other plants, some of them are infested by pests, and our space is not conducive to grow them in a perfect manner. So I've been hoarding plants, I've been propagating like crazy, and apischias, they don't sell for much at all they are not worth a lot of money even at the cheap price which we're selling now online they're really moving slowly so do i need all five colorways of apishkias and do i need so many pots of them absolutely not so moving forward as i'm moving actually another update i'm leaving this rented home in august i'm going to be moving into my uh, permanent home and that's going to be a smaller home i'm going to actually have nice furniture so i'm going to start living with the plants because right now here, I'm just piling up plants after plants outdoors for the last year, in case you haven't noticed. So I'm gonna start living with them, having them around as a lifestyle and really keeping what I enjoy the most and only keeping the ones that I'm studying and learning from. So a lot of the other plants, I'm literally getting rid of them. I'm either uh, going to sell them. So be on the lookout because in the next few episodes, I'm gonna be doing some exports of some of my plants because I'm not trying to sell locally at this time, uh, only because local plant prices are coming down like crazy. And I'm going to be selling my plants at a very, 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 very cheap price. So I'm going to collaborate with uh, Exporter. Uh, and then we are going to do a video. And then you guys who are living overseas have the opportunity to order only plants plants at a very, very breakneck prices. Put a disclaimer out there that the plants that we're going to be selling are going to be pretty much at the local level price, but we will not be responsible for any loss, damages, or any issues that come with shipping. Of course, we will video the roots, we'll video the plant before shipping because that is the proper procedure, but we did not factor in all the other customer service and all that um, into the price of the plants. They're just gonna be perched pretty much, but they're gonna be in a healthy and safe uh, condition to ship. So yeah, we will show you the videos before we ship them out and if something happens, I do not want to be, because there's going to be a lot of plants. And I, again, I'm selling them at breakneck prices. So be on the lookout for that episode. Um, and then the others, I'm going to try to sell locally where possible. I'm going to be gifting a lot to my neighbors. And if you're online on Instagram, do not tell me to give you plants. I cannot do that because I don't know you. And I, I cannot, I don't have the time. There's so many, there's like 3,000 pots. I cannot say, oh, this is for who this is. I don't have the space. I don't have the time. They just have to be boom, like I'm just literally gonna put them on my doorstep and people are gonna pick it up or I'm just gonna start throwing plants away because I've been doing that. Like 
there are plants that are way too many duplicates. I just, it feels good, honestly. It felt good to let go because I've been hoarding like crazy. So I'm gonna be going through that process in my life where I am living with a sustainable amount of plants that I'm gonna be caring for personally because for my, <laughs> this is so many updates. For my gardener, actually, I have posted online and I found him new job. Dani, aku lagi filming, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, sorry. Yeah. This is why I, I don't like to have people around. <laughs> he just walked by. Um, so my gardener, I have posted online that uh, that I'm letting him go and I'm sending him his qualifications and experience level. And actually, a lot of people have already written in. So in next month or so, I'll be... Uh, recommending him into a new job so do not worry about my staff they all are going to be going into new and better hopefully positions better jobs but I'm so glad because I miss plant care I miss caring for my plants for honestly there are a lot of plants here that I don't even know where they are anymore I, I just know oh, I have this plant but where did I I haven't seen them for months they're somewhere in my that's how bad things have gotten so I'm gonna cut them down maybe from 3,000 pots down to like maybe 300 or 250. Um, for example, with Hoyas, I have about 60 species of Hoyas and multiply that by many pots. Like I have like at least three to four pots of Hoyas per species. That's too much. Like I don't even know what to do with them at this point. So uh, whatever I can sell, I will sell. The rest I will give away to people who are just really close to me. I, I cannot, again, do not DM me to tell me to send you free plants or that you'll come and pay. I cannot deal with that. I will just, my neighbor, let's just say my neighbors are gonna be pretty lucky when I move because in April, uh, August when I move, uh, I can leave some plants here, but also in my new neighborhood, I can also offer plants to neighbors and hopefully green up the public areas in that neighborhood as well. So I may actually film an episode on that, how to give plants away. I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's cross that bridge when we get to it. But it'll be a fun one. I love giving, but it feels good right now to get rid of plants. I know there are some plants that I'm throwing away and normally I would feel like, oh, like, you know, what a waste. But the fact that there was just too many is too overwhelming and these plants will not sell for a lot of money anymore. And also the fact that uh, they're not in the best shape because again, there's too many plants for us to cover. They're not uh, in a, even in a shape that I would be proud to give away, if you know what I mean. So I am learning a lot from this process. I'm, I have accumulated a lot of stress over the last few months and I'm sure that a lot of you have noticed that. But now is the time for me to unwind and focus on what I love and starting to take back control over my plant care and figure out which plants I love. And yeah, I guess I will have a few uh, episodes to show you how I trim down the collection. and. Uh, I think you guys will be interested to know what I ended up with too because not all the plants are going to make it. I think I'm I'm starting to learn to let go. There's an ant biting my feet. Um, and this is also a thing that I want you guys to have, uh, a sort of a philosophy where it's okay to not own every single plant out there because as of now, I'll be starting to travel a lot more. It is okay to admire plants in botanical gardens or in other people's collections. It is completely fine. You don't have to own every hyped up plants or every interesting plants in the world. So I just want this to be a message of like us being mindful about our plant care practices and how we're gonna deal with our plants, how we're gonna care for them and display them uh, post COVID because we're gonna have different attitudes towards plant care and how, what kind of plants we want around and how we wanna display them. So that's gonna be the next uh, topics that I will be discussing in this channel and of course I'll also still have the care and propagation videos coming for you so I guess that's it I just basically blurted my heart out for the last 20 minutes or so I don't know if there's anything else that I want to discuss other than uh, me being grateful for you guys to stick around and I hope that you guys collections are doing well you guys are growing your plants and collections sustainably and maybe some of you are also experiencing the same kinds of stress level as I am as we you know I'm going to be spending a lot less time with my plants I'm going to start traveling more I would love to go to Singapore Philippines I would love to go back to Thailand I actually dream about going to the US you know and Europe to look at how other people uh, grow their plants and the horticultural practices over there and I'm interested to learn about modernizing horticulture via tissue culture or other methods. So those are gonna be on the channel uh, coming up. And 
yeah, I hope that you guys take this video as a positive note because I am actually really, really happy with this change. I'm really grateful for the lessons in the last year and a half with only Plant Store. And those of you who have actually purchased plants or who will purchase plants that I'm going to purchase soon, uh, I want to thank you for that. And uh, yeah, happy growing, I guess. There are a lot of interesting things coming up in this channel. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.